Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of a Nano Cube being made by a forum user, Patrick Sudith, and oh, I could not pass this mod up when I saw it on the forums earlier today. Because uh, what this is, is a parts mod that adds in uh, a selection of tiny, tiny little parts for you to build with to make nano satellites. And that is why I love this, because I am a huge fan of the whole concept behind nano satellites. That here in the real world, for thousands of dollars, you could potentially send a satellite up to space, which otherwise, if you wanted to build a full size satellite, would be millions. The whole concept of making space, you know, more accessible to more people. Just, I love it. So I love CubeSats and nano satellites, all that sort of stuff. And so when I saw a parts mod for that whole sort of thing, I had to take a look at it, so let's jump on into the VAB and take a look at all the parts. Now, of course, the first thing we are going to have to look at is the four, that's right, four different probe cores that it adds into the game. And you may notice here that we have uh, what looks like duplicates. It's really not, because a whole part of this mod is that it is worked into the career mode, and so you have, even though these are basically the same size of CubeSats and these, uh, you know, the more elongated three CubeSats welded together, uh, they're basically different stages of CubeSat technology, really. So, like, this small nano cube probe which is the you know, the one by one by one part has no reaction wheel whatsoever it is basically just a simple probe with some electrical charge that goes up into space and that is it and that is meant to be accessed very early in the tech tree i think in uh, oh god i got to look over to my other monitor tech level 4 is when you can start to uh crank these out and send them up into space and then later down the tech tree you get the same probe core again but this time with a reaction wheel so you have some form of control and you know some SAS because well that's always a glorious thing to have and so I, I like that that it's different versions and at different costs you notice this one only cost a hundred <laughs> which is oh my god so tiny I mean this basic command pod is 600 and this tiny little thing is 100 and then the better one with the reaction wheel is 150. And then, of course, you have the longer versions, which are, uh, you know, the one by one by three. And same sort of deal. You get the no reaction wheel one first for 275. And then later on, a, the version with the reaction wheel for the 325. And another fun part about these little CubeSats is that they're not just tiny little probe cores. They are also... Uh, basically rolled together with an experiment for you to collect science because again it's all worked in with career mode and well the whole purpose of a CubeSat for the most part is to do some sort of small scientific experiment and so right now there are two custom experiments the first one made for just the small probe cores is a particle detector and then on the larger probe cores these have a combination magnetic field detector and particle detector so you can get a little bit more science out of these babies and if we just throw on one of these that is how tiny they are oh my god let's see how far we can zoom in that is as much as we can zoom in here in the VAB and that is the tiny tiny little cube set that we get out of this thing it is oh my god so small I mean this is the chair this is a Kerbal's chair <laughs> <laughs> you could fit like four of these inside of a Kerbal's helmet with how giant their heads are. I mean, look at that. It's it's just, it's so tiny. And even the, uh, you know, three tall version. Huh, I also just came up with an idea. We could stack a lot of these to make even bigger CubeSats. But, <laughs> it's the three tall version. Yeah, yeah, it's still, it's just so, so very small compared to an actual Kerbal. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. And you may be wondering, well, why would you need something this small? 
imagine it having like a dozen of these on a normal flight you could be sending up a regular satellite into orbit and what the heck just throw in a couple of CubeSats onto it for some extra science I mean that's essentially what the space programs already do they chuck a couple of these onto existing missions because they weigh so little that it doesn't really make a difference uh, but yes I I love these little things they are glorious I'll keep that one attached there and so those are the four probe cores so we've got the lower tech version and then the higher tech versions with the reaction wheel. Then moving down, we have nothing in fuel, nothing in engines, uh, nothing in command, but down here in structural, we do have a new little uh, decoupler specifically designed for these lovely little CubeSats, the Nano Cube Flinger. And my God, I love the description on this. After our lead engineer watched his kids at home play with the spring loaded Jeb in a Box toy, he suddenly had a great idea on how to deploy small payloads with less risk of blowing them up. And I love that. I, I love that little flavor text. And also, I really want a Jeb in the Box. Someone with a 3D printer, make one of those. <laughs> that would be glorious. But yes, it's just a very, very tiny little decoupler. You can see it on the bottom here, hopefully. I mean, they all the things on this are very tiny, so it might be a little difficult to show off on a video. But yes, it's just a tiny, tiny little square decoupler that flings these CubeSats off into space with a small amount of force point. 02 ejection force. Lovely. Then, of course, nothing in aerodynamics, but in utility, we have the solar panels that go along with these, because, well, a CubeSat needs power. They do have electrical charge. Uh, 30 in the small CubeSat and 50 in the larger... Well, I guess that wouldn't be really a CubeSat. Huh, what would you call that one? Well, I'm just going to stick with Nanocube. But yes, so that they can stay up longer and be more useful, we have tiny little solar panels here, which uh, the one by one solar cell giving 1.8 electricity per minute and the larger one by three giving you 3.6. And yeah, here we go. We can just plop one of these onto here. Oh, that's not exactly flush with things. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Just a small little solar panel and fits in line perfectly with the CubeSats. You basically just line it up inside there and you are good to go. And then we have, of course, the larger one by threes, which there we are, is, well, just basically a longer one. That's, you know, bigger. That's really it. But hey, it gives you more power and is the perfect sort of solar panel for the larger ones. And lastly, we have in science a tiny little nano cube antenna, which is another one of the ones that I really love the description of. We totally didn't break a perfectly good spare tape measure for this. Because, um, yeah, let's pop this thing on the top here and extend it. It just looks like a tape measure. It's it's beautiful. I, I absolutely love it. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. You can even see the notches of the tape measure on this thing. I love that to death. And yeah, it's just a cool little antenna. There we go. Oh, nope, nope. Falling through it. It's kind of kind of hard to show off these tiny little pieces. But yes, it's uh, it's it's wonderful. I love the idea of these tiny tiny little crafts and one I have built to sort of show off uh, sort of the idea of what nano satellites are for like I said you attach them to an existing mission so this little uh, rocket here we have put one of these into orbit and it has attached to it five little nano satellites four of the little nano cube ones and one of the larger one by threes and with it we could launch five little tiny satellites in the space on one mission while this thing goes off to do something else. So if we actually go to the tracking station, we can go and take a look at this baby in space and also see how well these reaction wheels, or not the reaction wheels, rather, the uh, decouplers, there's the right word, how well those actually work with ejecting these into space. And now that we're at in space, we can actually zoom in on these things a little bit better. It's hard to see them in the uh, vehicle assembly building because you can't zoom in very far, but ah, look at these things. They're just so beautiful. I love them. And let's see, there we go. Extend that out, the lovely, lovely little tape measures. 
Oh, uh, I don't know why those entertain me so much, but they do, and it's glorious. And as you can see, if we do click on the uh, little nano cube core itself, we have our instrument check, rename vessel, etc. And on the instrument check, there we go, a magnetic carbon, magnetic medium, particles low. And since I am in career mode, we aren't actually, are not in career mode, rather, I'm in sandbox, we're not actually gaining any science. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely little thing. Let's let's just reset that experiment. And of course, all these smaller ones here. If we want to detect particles, oh, that's an interesting little text. Just a little blip of particles, then maybe. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? But yes, if uh, we want to, like say we sent up this little craft to go and visit a space station in orbit. Along the way, we can just uh, go in staging. Oh, it's not letting me stage. Okay, let's reorganize that. There we go. They have all separated. So not a whole lot of ejection force. They just kind of slowly but surely release off from the main craft. And I don't know why, but that is just... Beautiful. Serene and beautiful. I I love it. I love it so. But <laughs> uh, I really do love this little mod. And let's jump over to one of these tiny little cube satellites. Let's go to one we haven't played around with yet. There we go. And this little baby, we can extend its solar panels if I can, or not its solar panels, its antennas. If I can get to it, I did make a staging group, but apparently my little one isn't working, I guess, since we separated, we're a different craft. And I am having trouble clicking on this antenna, but hmm, interesting, interesting. I guess if we... Oh, there we go. I guess I needed to stage for some reason. Oh, I guess since it is technically a new craft now. But uh, yes, we have our tiny little CubeSat. And of course, this one can go and detect particles as well. And well, there we are. We have yet another little blip. Keep data. And well, it can also transmit that data since we do have these tiny little antennas. And oh, that is a very... Well, it, of course, it's a slow upload. This... the. The antennas a tape measure. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's going to take quite a while to fully upload the data from that particle experiment. But eventually it will, and it will be, you know, a tiny little bit of science for you and your budding space program. So it's, it's just a lovely little addition to the game. I love the concept behind it. Uh, you know, the whole idea, as I said, of nano satellites just intrigues the heck out of me. And I love the fact that it's integrated in with the career mode. It's, you know, price of all of these is nice and low so that, you know, it simulates the cheapness and simplicity of a micro satellite in real life. And it's it's just a wonderful little addition. You, you Like I said, you can just attach a dozen of these onto an existing mission. It'll barely add any weight to your craft and you're good to go and you have extra science. And it's just wonderful. So if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, you can always uh, take a look at the link in the description of this video, as always. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video today. And of course, that you do come back for the next when we will be looking at yet another fun mod. And actually, in fact, we're going to look at a mod I was uh, kind of debating on whether or not to look at today, but apparently they plan on updating it this weekend. So, ooh, new update for Tuesday's video. Uh, but yes, I hope you come back for that. But until then, uh, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. Oh, and it finally finished uploading. There we go. That's how long it takes. <laughs> Later, guys.